So in JavaScript, there are these three functions that exist called bind, call, and apply. Now, if you've never used them before, you might not really understand what their purpose is in the language. Um, but today we're going to cover all three of them, providing some real world examples of when you could use them. Uh, so hopefully by the end of this video, you'll feel a little bit more confident about what purpose they serve, which one you might use in a given situation and why they exist in the first place. Before we get into it, let's just quickly look at some context for uh, the situation that we're going to use these functions in. We're going to cover this in a little bit of a football theme today. So let's imagine that we have a football team, we have some football players, and let's pretend that they are playing a game at the moment and we want to make a substitution during the game. So what that means is we're going to take one player out of our team and replace that player with another one. An important concept to understand when it comes to bind, call and apply is the this keyword. Now, as you may know, any object that you create or, or even any function that you create will have a, uh, a reference to itself, which it knows as this. So if you imagine for a moment that we've got our app and this is the entire app, uh, this is our football app. Now this will have a context. Okay. So there will be this. Now let's imagine that we've got a football team. Okay, so this is our team. Now there's also, because this is an object or a function or a class, whatever you want to call it, either way it has its own context of this. Now again, let's imagine that we've got some players now. Let's just imagine that these are all players. Guess what? These again, also have their own this. Now what we're trying to do is we've got this uh, substitution function here. And again, this has its own this. Now what we're trying to do is apply this call or bind any of those words really uh, onto different contexts. So really what we're trying to do here is take this function and apply it, call it, bind it here. So effectively this becomes this. How do we do that? Well, that's where bind, call and apply come into play. Okay, so let's just quickly go through some of the code that gets us up to the point where we start using bind, call and apply. So on the screen at the moment, you'll be able to see we've got some classes for player and team, uh, which as you can imagine, just creates the team and creates some players. But as well as that, we also have a substitution function that just sits independent from those classes and it takes two parameters, uh, which is, well, the first one is the player we're going to take out and the second one is the player we're going to add in. On the screen at the moment as well, you can see the team that we've created and the four players that we've created. Now the bind function just takes one parameter and that parameter is the context that you want to use it in. So what do we mean by that? Well, if we take a look at the whiteboard again behind us, you'll remember that we've got this substitution function and it has its own reference to this. What we want to do is change that. So we bind it to the team and that's how it will understand the context that it should be used in. So you'll see on the screen at the moment, we've got a new variable called make sub and it's equal to, or it's, it's assigned to substitution, which is the function, but then we also chain bind on the end of it. So we have substitution dot bind. And then the only parameter, as we mentioned, is what is the this? So in our case, it's that Liverpool team. So we just pass in the Liverpool variable that we created earlier. That then gives us the opportunity to be able to use that function. So immediately after we can just do uh, make sub 
uh, pass in the first player that we're going to take out and then the second parameter is the player that we want to replace them with. There is also an alternative way that you could write the function as well, um, which you can see on the screen now. Um, however, in the case of making substitutions, which can occur several times in a game, the first approach that we took is probably going to make a bit more sense. Before we move on, just a couple of things to remember about bind. Uh, it takes one parameter, it creates a copy of whatever it is bound to, uh, and its execution is separate from its creation. So in other words, you can bind it to something, but then you still need to execute it. Call and apply work in a very similar way. So we're gonna kind of try and group them together for a moment, just to create some separation between them and bind. Now, as we mentioned, bind just takes one parameter, which is the context. Once you've done that, you can then execute it. And then when you execute it, it would need whatever parameters the initial function needed. In this case, it's the substitution function. With call and apply, they execute straight away. Therefore, we need to still give them the parameters that the substitution function needs. So with call, the first parameter is always going to be the context. That's actually the same for apply as well. With call, it will take that context, which in our case will be the Liverpool variable. And then afterwards, you just start passing in all of the parameters that the function uh, or the substitution function needs. So in our case, when we use call, it's going to take three parameters. The first is the uh, Liverpool uh, team. The second is the player that we want to take out of the squad. Uh, and then the third is the player that we want to put in. Now with apply, the difference is apply just takes two parameters. The first again is the context. So we will just pass in Liverpool. The second is an array. Now that array will then receive all of the parameters that the function needs. So that's the difference really. Call has three parameters. Apply has two parameters. The first parameter for both is exactly the same. And then for apply, the only difference is we're just passing the parameters inside of an array. Whereas in call, you're just spreading them in there. And there we have it. So hopefully you feel a little bit more comfortable when it comes to bind, call and apply. And maybe even learn something about the this keyword as well. Either way, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button, uh, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, do all of that good stuff that people do on the internet. And um, we look forward to, or I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Uh, and uh, Liverpool are Premier League champions. <laughs>